Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have another awesome tarot reading, Sagittarius, and I hope you guys are all well. And let's go ahead, I've shuffled these, but let's go ahead and uh, get another shuffle. Let's see what we have. I like to keep it spontaneous uh, for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And anybody else who resonates with it because it is for the collective. The bottom of the deck here is the Ten of Wands, and he has dropped his Nine Wands. This deck's a little different, but this is somebody who is carrying a heavy burden, and they had to lay it down for their own peace. Yeah, they did. Uh, and let's see. Let's get some Oracle cards, and let's move this camera down just a minute here, just a, a second or a little bit, rather. And so these have been shuffled. Let's get one more, though. I like to do that. All my cards are shuffled, but hey. Uh, let's see what we have for Sagittarius. We have listen in stillness. You meet your true self. So this means that somebody didn't know themselves, right? Uh, and they took time out to think things over and be with themselves. And now they finally understand themselves, right? Uh, there's, you know, if you can understand something in your whole life, uh, just let it be you. Yeah, right? Let it be you. <laughs> and yourself and you will only see the way by making the way so this means that uh kind of somebody was maybe a little uh like kind of confused and just just make the way just go ahead and do it right it could be about two people it's a choice uh could be a choice it's a 38 that is 11 and that is can be two people uh, but yeah, I'm going to get one more card, excuse me, and we have every cycle is a higher opportunity, and we see the swirl, uh, and you start here at the arrow, and you end up at the heart, so uh, this is bringing some type of uh, coolness here, something very good, it's a four, every cycle is a, is a higher opportunity, so somebody took a good look, uh, looks like here, let's see what else we have uh, with this deck here for Sagittarius. And we have the bat. You have the power to transcend failure and move into a limitless future. Look at that. So failure just means that you have learned, right? You went to school uh, and you didn't get good grades, uh, you know, in uh, maybe, you know, the subject of love or whatever, or life, really. You didn't get good grades or, you know, you had to like kind of screw up a few times. And now you are a major master, right? That's what that's about for a limitless future. And we have the mountain goat, and here he is. He's pretty cute, right? He does look like uh, the goat that they used to always show with uh, uh, what's the, the billy goat and the troll. What was the name of the troll? You know, the troll under the bridge, right? Yeah, and I used to like that story when I was a kid. Fighting for love or ardent declarations may hide unfaithfulness. What this means is that somebody's fighting for love, but they're fighting for love to be with you, Sagittarius, but they are, they're unfaithful to somebody else because they want to fight for your love. That's what that means. It can mean too that, uh, you know, and they're also coming to declare their love, ardent declarations. Yes, very ardently, right? Which is sweetly. It sure is. So let's see what we have. And we have the Ten of Wands. We'll put this over here uh, and we will ask the angels later on in the reading uh, what they have to say right yeah they're <clears throat> we're gonna ask them to weigh in here the sun card five of cups four of cups <clears throat> four of pentacles king of wands so we do have some type of failure oh wow we have the five of cups the four of cups he's pouring the cup out he doesn't want something anymore the Five of Pentacles is somebody could be left out here. That's why he's pouring the cup out. Here's the Five of Swords reversed. That is, uh, that's kind of like, uh, it's kind of removing, it can be you're accepting a loss. It can, right? We see a loss here, Five of Cups, but uh, yeah, and this can be kind of like, yeah this that's a trip somebody is accepting a loss here uh and this may have to do with you as well it is your reading sagittarius but this concern this is the concern the five of swords reversed uh mm -hmm. and you know this could be somebody who you you might know it's a possibility maybe you're kind of in a relationship with somebody here like this and uh the challenge is the five of cups there could be there could have been regret between you and somebody here sagittarius there could have been 
Uh, that's how it looks here. And, uh, you know, and we also have this kind of transformation and uh, major, like an awakening kind of a, a major change. And we see the bat. You have the power to transcend failure. The bat is transformation. Yes, he goes from a bat and he turns into a honeybee. Yeah. And he said, I'm so glad I'm good looking now, right? Now, uh, there was a bat right across the street. Yeah. It's, my, my daughter noticed it. And, you know, <coughs> she's a, a natural born uh, entomologist, in my opinion. But hey, and then she noticed the, the bat, right? But uh, in this reading, there's something, something has happened here. Somebody uh, maybe may have stepped away from uh, another situation that they might consider failure. Somebody wants to be with you here, Sagittarius. Uh, and, you know, uh, the good thing about this reading is that this is, listen, uh, this is about somebody has met their true self. So they didn't know themselves before and they could have, they could have done a lot of hurt. They could have hurt somebody here. It's possible uh, for sure. And so the sun is here in the overall energy and that is... Uh, very cool. That is very important uh, because the sun in the overall energy says, I have my clarity. I know what I want. I'm in, I'm, you know, uh, you know, I see my light, right? And so <clears throat> this is too, there's a red flag here. So I see very clearly what's very important in my life here. You're very important to somebody in this reading, Sagittarius. And they are going to fight for your love or they have done this, but you don't know about it possibly. So the five of cups, we have the nine of pentacles. Just wow, this could be somebody is self-sufficient or single on their own. That's what that card talks about. <coughs> Four of cups, somebody's pouring somebody's cup out here. They're like, I don't really want this, right? I'm disappointed or I'm unhappy or maybe I'm bored or, you know, uh, and here we have the four of pentacles, but it is the death card as well. Here is the grim reaper and here he is. And, uh, he still needs to put on weight. He does. We have the moon with it and that, wow. And so this is about something ended here because somebody wants to fight for your love. And that's what this is about here. The moon showing up is this person, uh, sad or a little confused but i just mean by the chaos and the burden that they were carrying because we see the burden here being dropped it's been dropped king of wands is the mindset this is about you sagittarius and the wheel of fortune this can't get any more personal right but this is about fate and destiny because somebody knows you are their fate and destiny so or whoever this is about this could be for somebody else possibly with a lot of sag in their chart your person this person might be a fire sign uh they might be cancer they could really be you know all of the other signs they could leo's here but you know listen in stillness to meet your true self that's the only time you meet your true self is when you are alone with your thoughts right if you're working two jobs or you're you're in chaos. You're not going to meet your true self. No, you're going to meet your kind of beat down self, right? Yeah. And you probably don't want to meet that person, <laughs> right? Which talks about kind of maybe ignoring, uh, <clears throat> ignoring kind of ignoring the signs, right? And five of pentacles showing up page of wands. Look at him. He's walking away from a woman here. Yeah, there's like, there's a breakup in this reading for sure. And with no doubt for somebody, I don't, for, this is not your breakup, Sagittarius, okay. unless you are breaking up with somebody. You look like you're like on the receiving end in this reading. Uh, yeah. And somebody is on a major journey here. When we see, you will see, only see the way by making the way. In other words, take a step. That's right. And then, you know, you'll get a lamp. As you go, you get a little bit more light. Five of swords reversed, a world card, something, a cycle ends here. The fives are challenges. We have three fives in the reading. Wow, something really, something really uh, goes away here. Something really ends. Yeah, and it could be a physical situation. It could be just, you know, uh, emotional, psychological, or like a spiritual, right? It could be. 
but uh, you know, or somebody, so just somebody's energies and the qualities uh, kind of of their energy or you know their their actions or past actions possibly. But this looks like this is all happening now in real time, <coughs> and that somebody <coughs> got let go. And the world card is about here in the concern is about can I have my wish? I've grown, right? I've uh, I've matured. I've come full circle with the world card. And, you know, and there could be travel in this reading the, because we have the six of swords. Maybe somebody's traveling. I know I'm in the mood to travel, right? You guys know that song goes, I'm in the mood to travel simply because I'm bored. Just kidding. It's not, it doesn't say that. It's for love. <laughs> it's the song from the rascal, little rascals. All right, let's see what we got, you guys. And uh, I kind of have a sore throat a little bit here. So Page of Swords showing up in the Environment Three of Pentacles. Here, this is uh, a wondering, can I work uh, Can I work things out? Can uh, will, will Sagittarius want to build with me? Will Sagittarius want to collaborate with me? Can we have a relationship where we can work on things? Or a real give and take? with these cards ace of pentacles is a hope and desire it's for a new beginning in love yeah it is for something stable and solid and durable right six of swords is in the potential outcome with the nine of cups very beautiful in this reading right yeah and the six of sword not six of cups six of swords yeah nine of cups and this is moving on it's a transition it's go it's getting from one place to another but in the hopes that i'm going to be at a better place and you're over here on this island somewhere, Sagittarius. But uh, interesting in this car, in this deck here, uh, he is reaching the shore. So that's what I mean about things. This is happening like in real time. And I don't say that. So for some people, this is happening like this weekend or any day now. Yeah, that's how this is. Yeah, we're going to end this reading, Sagittarius. If you'd like to get your own psychic reading, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a silver grad. They're accurate. And they're very empowering, insightful, and they're very personal and fun. We do them on a Zoom call or a video call. Uh, you can We can do it on the phone if, if that suits you. And uh, we do a tarot spread if you would like. Uh, and everything is in the description box below. I can help you with your own matters or somebody, <coughs> maybe somebody you work with or somebody that you are dating or, you know, <coughs> could be anybody really, family member, friend, or somebody you don't know well. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining me. It could be about your own stuff too, as I said. Thanks so much for watching today. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Go ahead and hit the little bell. Uh, yeah, and if you want to ask about your career, these kind of come up as love all the time. Maybe because I'm a romantic, uh, hopeless romantic over here. But, you know, if you want to find out about career, I can help you with that too, for sure. So thank you so much, you guys. Hit the little bell in order to receive all my notifications.